DIY. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just working it out as I go. I drew a little rough sketch of sizes that I thought I would need or sizes of dimensions of like wine bottles and champagne bottles to make sure that everything fits. So long story short, I can't say the word because YouTube flags it and it gets all funny, but that global pandemic that's currently going on and sorry, my hair is like really disgusting and oily. <coughs> the global pandemic that's currently going on, I actually caught it. And so I've been at home recovering for the past few weeks. I haven't left my house in like five weeks now. So I can't go out to buy my groceries or like my water or anything. Luckily, Home Depot do deliver or they do store pick up. So I ordered everything that I wanted and my friend picked it up for me. So with that said, it doesn't really, it, the sizes aren't exactly to what I had planned them to be, only roughly though. So I don't even know if these like nails and the screws that I've ordered are the right fit, but we're gonna work it out and go from there. So I just thought I'd show you what I have. This is for the wine, little glasses to slide into, just this little pieces. These are gonna hold up the actual structure. So I think they're just one inch by one inch square dowels. These are our nails and our screws over here. I put this bracket, I'm gonna show you later, but I want it to fold. I also ordered like some wood glue, a leveler, some clamps, always good, tape measure, toolbox randomly. Um, this is the big piece of wood. We're gonna cut this into three pieces right now. That's how we're gonna start to begin with. Um, and then I've got my drill press and my saw over there. So I began by sawing the three planks of wood. They're the same size, 20 inches each. Then I tried to determine how high I needed it to be. I put champagne bottles because they're bigger than wine and I measured it out. Once I had the height, I cut the little one by one inch pillars so they were ready to go. So this was the little mock-up to see what it would look like. Obviously they're not glued down or anything, but the top would go on top and everything would be well. And I put the champagne bottles just to show that it was able to fit. I just needed to make sure that everything was good. Again, champagne bottles tend to be a little bit bigger than the wine, so I was using them as a base to ensure that if they could fit, then wine and rosé could also fit just fine. So I decided by starting with the pillars, I wanted to connect it to the bottom of the board. So I turned the base around and I wanted to drill all the way through. Um, so I took those little pillars and I drew an outline of where I wanted it to be. Now, did I use a set square and have a 90 degree angle? No, I freehanded it and it was stupid and I needed to fix it up later, which was extra issues. So while I was gluing it, do I wish I'd glued it? I think the glue was a fine idea. The only thing I'd wished was once I drilled the hole directly into the little pillars, I should have taken it out and not let the glue set because I ended up needing to take those pieces off later and the glue had obviously set, so I had to saw it out. It was a whole drama. So just a note to yourself when you're doing it. So this is a mock-up of it all flipped over. Obviously the top wasn't attached, but the bottom sure was. The next thing I did the following day was I got pieces of that one by one and I put it behind because I needed to find a way to connect the top to the tops of the dowels and connect the dowels so they were sturdy. So by putting it behind like that, I was able to drill up into the lid and also drill to the side into the pillars. I've now got my four pieces and so we're going to attach them. So once attempting to cut the pieces to size, the glue came back out to put it onto the base. Obviously this is flipped over once again. Um, and obviously it's not fitting properly because it wasn't a 90 degree to start with, which you know we fixed up later. Next, I was making the little, if you call them trays, if you will, for the wine and the champagne bottle. So I was just cutting those pieces to size. Again, they're the exact same size as the pillow, so just more wood. So while the base structure continues to dry, I have just cut all the pieces for the wine section, where the wine or the champagne is going. So while that continues to dry, we're going to actually put these parts together. So all we need to do is put a big and a small, just like that. And that is the size already, so I don't even need to worry about that. And that's where it will go. So I've made our first little rack. Just some little screws. Just go like that, nice, sturdy, strong. Need to make three more of these. Okay, update. I have now 
nailed this the long length ones to these pillows if that makes sense it's a nightmare I hate nailing I'm not good at it it, it didn't work properly I hit my thumb I don't like it but I don't have any screws so you know this is this is what's happening so this is what we're doing and now I'm going to wait so this is the top now I'm going to cut the pieces that go here and I'm going to nail them in glue or whatever the hell needs to happen so like i mentioned with the glue of the bottom pieces before this is where i had to take it off and i flipped it around and this was me making those wine the little place for the wine glasses if you will and i also ended up taking the middle pillars out just to give myself a little more room so that they could fit nicely and i could get the screws in this thing was very fiddly because you're working with little screws and things but you've got these pillars in the way so you just kind of have to be in a place where you can take things off and on all the time so highly don't recommend completely gluing things down update this is currently being held up by a little scrap wood because it's not stuck on or like screwed on together so pretty much this is the outline finally we've got something to go off the wine glasses they're fitting perfectly hanging nicely there'll be two wine racks two wine racks there was a lot of me sitting on the floor deliberating how I wanted to attach the wine glass, uh, the wine racks because I didn't actually want screws on the side, but I ended up doing it. So this is me just screwing them together, making sure they're all good because you don't want to screw up now. You need a sturdy place. If the wine falls, oh my God, heaven forbid, it'll be over. And this is it all together. And I was so happy at this point, but here is my extra little part. I wanted it to have like this little part that opened up but folded over. So hinges are your best friend in this respect so I just attached the hinges between these two planks of wood so that it's an easy place you can easily store it there are a lot of wine racks out there and cheese boards where it's kind of just sticks out but then how are you going to store that nicely so this way it was able to fold you can use it if you want if you've got little cheeses and little things you can just put stuff on the top you don't need to even pull this out at all now this isn't a big deal at all, but obviously because you've got the hinge, you've got a kind of a little dip. It's not a flat board anymore. So to fix that issue, I had this tiny little scrap piece of wood that we used for the wine glass area and I just cut it nicely. Um, so it was a sort of a straight line, not that bumpy thing. And I just stuck it underneath and I just glued that on so it wasn't a big deal. And it just kind of balances it out and levels it up a little bit. And it also gives you a place to sort of, when you pick up the board, it's a little bit of a grip rather than picking it up right from the ground. Let's say you're in the park, your nails would get all dirty. Now, unlike many, I make so many mistakes when I'm building and so many massive holes everywhere. So wood filler is like my best friend. So I pretty much had to fill the whole thing, let it dry, and then I sanded the whole thing down really nicely. And then I put a nice wood stain. This had a cherry base to it. So it had that sort of red texture coming through. I think I put two coats. Obviously I let it dry, but I didn't want to go much darker than that. And you get that natural grain from the wood come out. I then put a light coat of the varnish. It makes it scratch resistant. And I thought even though it's meant for interior designs and building, it would be good considering you're going to be cutting with like cheeses and things. And then the last step was making it food safe. This is the stuff that you put on your normal chopping board. It's the stuff that makes it able, you, able to eat off it. You don't want to be eating all these chemicals and these stains so I thought that was really important 100% I put a couple of codes just to be sure and just like that it was done I was so happy with the way it turned out considering I didn't have anything to go off and no measurements no nothing I was really proud of myself for this little project even though there were a lot of mistakes we fixed them we you know rectified those mistakes and I celebrated by having my own personal cheese and wine fruit situation day because I was still recovering from that um, virus and couldn't go out and celebrate so we just had it at home thank you so much for watching if you have any suggestions about how I could have fixed things and made it better please put it in the comments below and if you create it yourself please like tag me i want to see your own creations and see how you do it as well um make sure you comment subscribe for more and i'll see you next time thank you bye